Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Bond and I'm a dating and relationship coach for men. And today in this video we're going to be discussing why she won't kiss you or how to make a girl kiss you on first date, second date, kind of whatever your flow is. So I've experienced this in my own dating life and I've also heard a lot of different um, things from clients as well, kind of, you know, confused as if a, why a girl isn't kissing them or, um, you know, how can they kind of tell the signs that she's ready for a kiss? Am I being put in the friend zone? Like lots of different questions like that, just a lot of uncertainty. And for me, I want a guy to be 100% confident and certain that he wants to kiss me and just to go for it. I think the number one thing that I will say about going in for a kiss with a girl is never ever ask her if you can kiss her and never tell her that you're going to kiss her because that is a sign that you want validation and uh, you want consent to kiss her and while I 100% believe that you should get consent from a woman, um, a verbal consent when you are wanting to sleep with her. I think for kissing, you should be able to tell from body language, from social cues, from physical touch, what and when is kind of like the appropriate moment and then kind of how you are going to kiss her. I don't think that you need to ask for a kiss in that sense. I think you will know and you will feel and I will give you some tips on kind of how you can gauge that and um, so that there's no confusion there. And then it goes as smoothly as possible and it's a perfect kiss because that's what you want because you want the woman to feel like she's on cloud nine after it and that it went really well and it was not awkward. That's the worst. So let's get into those tips about what you can kind of do. So the first tip is to create dates or ask her out on dates that are easy for a kiss to happen. Dates are also opportunities for you to have fun, get to know the woman, and also kind of create that connection where she would want to sleep with you. Um, there are opportunities. Dates are opportunities to hook up, essentially, and, and build that physical and, and connection and bond with a woman. Um, she might not consent to that on the first few dates, which is totally fine, but the same kind of goes for a kiss. So you can't really expect to have, say, a coffee date walking along the beach, uh, something really casual like that, and expect like a kiss to be really natural to come out of that. So what I'm trying to say is you have to create a kind of date scenario and location that is going to merit more of a comfortable kiss. So say you are at dinner or something together, instead of sitting across the table from each other, you can sit side by side at a table and kind of look out into the restaurant and that's going to bring you closer in proximity to each other. It's going to allow for more natural touch. Um, if a girl is naturally kind of touching your arm or touching your hand or laughing at your joke and kind of like laughing at your joke, a joke of yours and like hitting your arm or something, then that's going to be all little signs that she is feeling comfortable with the interaction and that eventually at the end of the day, you know, I would do it at the table, maybe after you, you pay the check or whatever, and give her a kiss then. You don't necessarily have to wait to like awkwardly go and like walk her to her door or her car or anything like that and then wait for that as the opportune moment. I think once you kind of feel the signs from her, I think the sooner the better, um, as long as that's, you know, where she's at and you can kind of tell that through her social cues, how she's laughing, the eye contact that she's making. All those things are really important to look out for, um, just to kind of gauge her interest and where she's at. So that's really important. So proximity, um, looking at her social cues, um, physical contact, physical touch, if she's laughing, all those things are really important leading up to it. And the next one I would say would be to just be really confident and go for it. If you are have to ask for it, you're asking for validation. and it's kind of you speaking from your ego. It's you saying like, if I kiss you, will you reject me? And to go in for a kiss, you have to be fearless. Do not fear rejection. The worst thing that she can do is be like, I'm not ready for that yet. But it doesn't mean that she doesn't like you or she doesn't want a kiss from you. But maybe just that, at that moment, it just didn't feel right for her or it takes her a little bit longer to get warmed up and that's okay. Uh, don't when, uh, don't take that as a sign of rejection. 
and rejection also comes from scarcity and there's going to be an abundance of moments that you can kiss her and build that connection with her so don't think that's so you're like oh you tried once and like that's the only chance you're gonna get don't think like that in that kind of scarcity mindset you want to think there's abundance of opportunities you're just gonna take your time make her feel really really comfortable and kind of make her want the kiss like the longer you kind of prolong it a bit and maybe tease it a little bit the more excited she's going to be to finally get that kiss from you and I think that build up and creating tension and intrigue like those are all really important things in dating in general and building up to the kiss so I think those are really important facts to remember and I think those are really the only two things that you need to remember um, other than that when you are going in for the kiss I think it's always best to go in slow and gentle and soft um, on the first try and I think that will also just make her feel comfortable and that's kind of what women want at the beginning and that is I mean I don't really have much more to say about that that's just really important um, just to be really gentle about it but at the same time be a man and be really strong and confident in the approach and going for it and whether that's kind of like holding her head or you know touching her hair a little bit or her neck like those are all really important things as well to kind of assert your dominance as a man but be really gentle with her as a feminine energy as well so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions please hit me up on Instagram Facebook at Selena Eliz and please hit the subscribe and like button. I will be making more videos uh, coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.